Okay, good morning, guys. It's just after five. Getting ready to go on our trip. Brianna's right there, getting ready. <laughs> Got the bags packed and our flight is at 7.20. So we gotta get out of here. We're running right on schedule. <laughs> plane guys we made it it's a really easy process here um, going through the airport real quick just as far as safety goes it was easy it was great everyone's wearing masks there's san sanitizing stations everywhere um, they're doing a really good job keeping everything very safe uh, for traveling so it's a real good process uh, currently on the plane now where are we headed we are going to Denver, Colorado. Denver, oh, just for a little getaway. We are so excited. We've been stuck in the house for too long. Uh, we need this. We really need this. So we're excited about it. We'll see y'all in Denver. We made it. We are here. Denver. Mm -hmm. So we gotta go. Sorry, we gotta go get our bags now and get the rental car. And then we're gonna grab some breakfast because I am hungry. And it's super weird traveling with a mask. This is our first time. Yeah. Can't breathe. Alright, so what's the first thing you do when you land in Denver? You get something to eat. Um, uh, non-stop since we've been looking up this trip we've been hearing a lot about this place called Denver Biscuits no Denver Biscuit Company Denver Biscuit Company okay so, <laughs> so we found a location over here it's like three restaurants in one but uh, currently waiting right now it's about a 30 minute wait we're pretty excited to try it yep. we'll let you know how it goes all right, so here at Denver Biscuit Co. And I got the granola bowl. Uh, it's yogurt, oatmeal basically. It looks really good. Um, side of sausage, because I still gotta have my sausage. What'd you get, baby? I got, I don't know, eggs, a big old biscuit, bacon, honey Just butter. Just a little bit of everything, huh? Yes. Looks amazing. All right, guys. Climb this mountain <laughs> <laughs> here at Red Rock Amphitheater. It's a really cool place, guys. Y'all are here in Denver. Come here, y'all need to check it out. Uh, it's in between these huge, beautiful rocks. It's a real beautiful area. Come, let me show you. <laughs> come, come with us. Six foot view. This is the top. It's actually a pretty uh, steep walk up. <laughs> we just came up all those stairs out of breath right now, but look how gorgeous it is here. Look how gorgeous she is. later we came to check in at the hotel which looks pretty cool can I show you oh no I can't turn it around it's a big building pretty cool well, we <laughs> now oh, we are running across the street yes we're walking to our car and we are going to have some dinner I think we're going to a hot dog place and they have like different kinds of hot dogs like meat like rattlesnake hot dog and weird stuff like that that tony wants to try what are you gonna get <laughs> i'm gonna get the regular beef all beef hot dog 
ballpark? Yes. <laughs> so, so far, everybody in Denver has been wearing masks. It's been pretty safe. So, it's nice. It got really hot for a little while. We got really tired, but we're good. And we are ready to eat some dinner, maybe some dessert. And yeah, we will check in later. So we did end up coming to Biker Gyms. And it is pretty good. <coughs> Tony got, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Tony got the elk. Elk jalapeno cheddar. Yep. It's pretty good, it's spicy, but it's good. And I just got all beef because I'm basic that way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. And then uh, really cool, like, cool fries. <laughs> but yep, check in later when we're nice and full. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It is day two here at our adventure in Denver. Uh, it's currently about 6.30 in the morning. We got into the hotel pretty early yesterday. It was around 8.30 and we were exhausted. So we just kind of hung out here at the hotel. Took a shower, laid in bed, watched some TV, and called it an early night. Uh, right now we're getting ready. We're gonna head out to Pikes Peak. It's about an hour south of Denver here. But first, coffee. tickets to go up we bought ours online <laughs> so we are excited ready to go the drive up here has already been beautiful how do you feel babe excited it's a 19 mile drive up the mountain um we got to stop every four miles just due to altitude so we don't get sick um and climbing too fast so we're gonna do that. Take about an hour to get up to, but I'm excited. Yes, and my brave husband here is going to drive us up. There's multiple ways you can go. Um, you can go, what's it called? On like a rail, a railway, but we are being brave and we're just gonna drive. So, we will check in later. Okay, well the check-in process for Pikes Peak was really easy. Just drove through, scanned our tickets. The man was uh, really nice. He showed us um, how to go into low gear, gave us some information, um, and now we're going up. How do you feel, babe? So far, so good. Nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. <laughs> We are so excited, it's beautiful already and we're still at the very bottom. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second, but um, over here to the right of me, it's like all of this rock. So beautiful, so here we go, let's see.
right? So it is quite scary going towards the top, but it's awesome. It's beautiful. This is out my window. Oh, God. Tony is concentrating on driving. He can't really look because... Um, I don't want to die. It is really scary. There's, like, parts with no rails. Whew. There's still, like, little bits of ice. You can see that white stuff. And it's actually really cold today. Um, Ooh, like, we're going to have to put on our jackets here in a minute it's really cold up here but it's beautiful this drive has been amazing look at that view out of Tony's window you can see it wow awesome yeah. We got in a van with other people and it's taking us to the top. We couldn't drive all the way to the top because of construction. So we are now in a shuttle going to the top. Taking us to the very top. We will see you there. All right guys, so we made it up to the top. Um, we're currently in line right now. We're gonna get some donuts. They have donuts and little things here up at the top. Um, it's supposed to help with the altitude. So we're waiting in line for that. It's cold. It's really cold actually. Uh, so we're at 14,000 feet. Had to throw the hoodies on. We did feel a little bit dizzy, lightheaded, but once you stand still for a minute, it's it's good. You get better. And there's um, a lot of construction if you look mm -hmm. over here. They're adding uh, a couple of things like a center, um, bigger center where you can go and uh, have a little bit more variety of things to do up here. So they're currently doing all of that. It's under construction. They want to supposedly have it ready and set by next year. We'll see, but uh, yeah. We waited in line. We got us some coffee. We got us some donuts. It's supposed to really help with the altitude uh, to eat plenty of carbs. So. Uh, we're feeling a little bit better now. It is kind of crazy. You get light. I'm we're yes. lightheaded. We're dizzy. We had to sit down for a little bit. We got a little bit lightheaded, yeah. but uh, it's definitely it's definitely worth it, guys. If y'all ever get a chance to come up to Pikes Peak, look at this. It is. It's beautiful. I don't think this is doing it justice, but this is amazing. So that's it we did it we are making our way back down from the top of mount summit <laughs> it was uh really awesome guys the views from there i don't know words don't describe it really it's like you, you gotta go experience it yourself um i will say that altitude sickness it really did hit us uh pretty hard there for a minute um so just we, get, we gotta be very careful right now. We're taking our time going back down. We're stopping every three, four miles, like 10, 15 minutes, letting our bodies adjust because it really does take a toll on you that it is a real thing. So we're right now, uh, just hanging out right now, but uh, that's some pretty awesome views, so.
So we just finished eating at a place called Crave Burger and it was pretty good. That's exactly what we needed after the mountain because again, not gonna lie, we were pretty sick. <laughs> so we are, uh, we just finished eating. It was good, I feel alive again. Much better. And now we are going to Garden of the Gods. So um, we're really excited. We've seen a lot of YouTube videos on this and it looks beautiful. It's like these huge red rock sculptures. Garden of the Gods is beautiful. We're gonna turn around so you can see it real quick. So there's just a bunch of huge red rocks all around us. It's really, really gorgeous. Beautiful greenery. Yeah. I just took some pictures on some and the sun's going down, so it's really nice. We've had a great time here. Great time. All right, good morning, guys. So it is day three here in Colorado. Uh, currently just grabbing some coffee from uh, downstairs in the lobby. They got a really nice Starbucks here, so we've been doing a lot of that every morning. It's been great. Um, yesterday was great. It was an awesome day. Uh, we did Pikes Peak, the Garden of the Gods, which was gorgeous. Uh, just an amazing an amazing experience if you guys ever get a chance y'all need to come and try it check it out you won't be disappointed now I'm gonna grab some coffee and today we are heading out to Estes Park which is north of Denver um, as opposed to yesterday Colorado Springs uh, Pikes Peak all of that was south so we're heading north today I'm gonna go check out the town of Estes uh, it's really beautiful there me and my wife we've actually both been there a couple years ago uh, so we're just really excited about that to be back there and uh, check everything out. It's gonna be great All right, we are in the car. We heard from Tony this morning. I was getting ready and I have a husband now that can go downstairs <laughs> in his pajamas and get me coffee <laughs> and Starbucks, so now we're in the car um, we slept a little late, not late, but we slept in uh, this morning, which felt great. We slept great, we're feeling good. Um, like Tony said yesterday was amazing, but we did feel a little sick from um, altitude sickness and stuff, but we feel much better today. We're gonna uh, go to Estes Park. Uh, yes, we have both been there. We, on our one year internships that we did years ago where we didn't even know each other, we both went to uh, Estes Park, Colorado and stayed there. We actually camped there, so that's really cool. So now, year, fast forward years in advance and we're married and we were both from that same internship and had no idea we would ever know each other. And now we're going to Estes Park together. So yes. how does, uh, how, what do you think about that? Um, <laughs> it's been about, gosh, like what, nine years? Well, for you. For me, it was nine years. I was an earlier class, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been about nine years since we've been there. I loved it. I loved the area. It was a beautiful town. Um, much nicer than Denver, from what I can tell. Um, I'm just excited to be back there. Uh, we're also going to meet up with a real old friend of mine all the way back to junior high. He lives in the area. I'm excited about that. going to see him, hang out for a little bit. He's going to just kind of show us around town a little bit, grab something to eat. And today's gonna be much more chill. We don't have to really climb any mountains or anything like that <laughs> either. So hopefully no sickness today. Yes. So yeah, we're just driving. There's really no good scenery right now. We're just passing like small towns that have normal things. So yeah, when things get interesting, we will see you then. <laughs>
Cactus Park stop to eat at Penelope's. It's a very popular place. I got a chicken tender basket because I'm a child at heart. <laughs> and it looks really good so tony is going to do a burger review he's going to take his first bite he got a um an elk burger so he's pretty excited so here we go i've waited a couple years to try this burger last time i was here didn't get to try it for some reason couldn't find the place um so this has uh, been a long time coming looks really good actually here we go Give that, I give that about an eight out of 10. Wow. That was really good. Good quality, really good burger. We just finished having lunch here. Um, we ate at Penelope's. It's a spot we had heard a lot of really good reviews at. So finally got to have my elk burger. It was amazing. And uh, Bree says the tenders were pretty good too, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. So uh, we just picked up some taffy, some candy. Now we're just uh, walking around downtown. There's a lot of people out right now, so we did have to put on the masks. But uh, it's very beautiful here, guys. It's a gorgeous little town. So we are in Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, Tony's friend Ian and his girl brought us up here for an easy hike. So it is so nice. Actually, a little backstory: This mountain right over here um, is Hallett's Peak, and that's actually the mountain that we hiked up a few years ago. Not together; mm -hmm. we did it at separate times, separate years. Yes. But uh, it's just so cool to be back here now as a married couple. Yeah. <laughs> and it's absolutely gorgeous here, guys. Yeah. Love it. This is awesome, and. We're very thankful for our friends that brought us here because we wouldn't have known where to come. So. Oh, yeah. Amazing. National Park. We did some hiking. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. Uh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Some, Such a cool experience. Some trails that we never would have been able to check out if it wasn't for my buddy. Um, so the weather's starting to starting to get a little drizzly now. So I think we're gonna call it. Get going. It's starting to rain, and we get hit my car. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after this, we'll be heading back to downtown Denver, and then. Uh, tomorrow heading back to San Antonio all right good morning today today is our last day here in Denver um, we currently checked out of the hotel uh, we're getting everything set up here uh, it's kind of for our last day we're just kind of doing some random stuff here we came to see Union Station uh, we're gonna take a walk down 16th Street Mall. We've been told about that area quite a bit. We're outside again, so we did have to throw the mask back on. Uh, but we're just gonna hang out here, grab some breakfast at Union. Um, we're told it's beautiful inside. There it is. 
looks really cool so far. I can't wait to get inside and kind of get an idea of how the rest of it looks. And then uh, we're gonna be heading out later today. Our flight back home is after six o'clock. Yep. We'll be back in San Antonio at that point. So catch you guys in a little bit. something to eat we're exhausted <laughs> really tired yeah it was a adventurous fun tiring trip but definitely well worth it uh we want to come back already so we're trying to figure out when we're gonna do that again yeah um yeah uh flights home our flight home is about two hours uh getting ready to board here hopefully here in the next 15 minutes or so and we'll be back in texas